Welcome to today's class. Today is a short sequence connecting to our root chakra of the first energy center. So welcome to Yoga with Dora if you haven't practiced with me yet. Um, and today we're going to start standing. Why? Because the root chakra is at the base of the spine and it's really about connecting to the ground, connecting to this strong support system. So allow yourself to come like maybe rolling, rocking forwards and backwards, just feeling really this connection through the feet. Like if you come too far back or too far forward, maybe you feel that you're losing your balance already and come back into the center. Relax the shoulders, lengthen the fingers softly towards the ground. Bring the chin parallel so you have a beautiful space in the neck. Chin slightly tucked in. Plant the feet down or four corners are pressing down. Inner arch is lifting up. Lift the kneecaps up, activate the thighs, tuck the tailbone under. And find this strong stance, this strong position. Allow the top of the head to reach up towards the ceiling while the sit bones are still reaching down. If you feel comfortable, then close your eyes softly, but you're more than welcome to keep the eyes open during the beginning as well. And allow yourself to arrive here. Feel through the feet that almost you like a tree and you're rooting down all the way down. Feel this strength, this connection to the earth. Allow this connection to the physical body, noticing how you're feeling. Allow the connection to your breath, the rising and falling of the breath. And then bring the hands to the heart, left palm coming to the heart center, right palm over it. Gently press the palms to the heart center and make your intention for today. Our class theme today is to connect to the root energy center, to find stability, groundedness, a strong foundation, strength. And let's bring the palms together and tune in with the Om Mantra three times to plan this intention. Om. Om. And then relax the hands, open up the eyes. Let's start with a little bit of a warming up of the body. Bring the palms together, reach the arms up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, reach the arms forward, just nice and relaxed, shoulder roll. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms reaching towards the ceiling, tuck the tailbone under active core, soft little side bend to the right back to the center, soft little side bend to the left, back to the center. On the exhalation, forward, forward, nice and soft, bend the knees, allow the head to shake, walk the legs out a little bit, create a little bit of space of movement, feel this connection through the feet. Allowing your head to soften forward, shake it if you wish to. Just really find the comfort here if you feel it's in the evening time that you practice, that you're okay to 
straighten the legs do so otherwise keep the knees bent nice and soft so you have enough freedom in the spine inhale come up halfway walk the hands up on the legs top of the head reaching away exhale releasing to your forward fold we're coming into a twist bring the left hand in the middle in front of the toes reach the right arm up gaze into the right palm follow your gaze and then bring the right hand into the center open up with the left arm reach and extend come back into the center bend the knees shimmy the chest on the thighs roll the shoulders back and then reach up with the arms come into your chair pose tuck the tailbone under activate the core reach and extend all the way up exhale release down coming to a sun salutation to balance the first energy center active movement standing postures sun salutations are amazing to connect with the physical body to create this movement in the energy so we're going to come into a sun salutation inhale bring the arms up extend the palms up exhale forward forward again bend the knees if you wish to allow this softness in your fold on the exhalation inhale come up halfway look up and lengthen exhale step back with the legs nice and soft in control you can bring the knees down stretch the toes away and lower yourself with control elbows stay close to the body stretching the toes away hugging the pelvis to the mat feeling this connection to the ground from the front body fully then inhaling shoulders come away from the ears reach and step on i'm up into a cobra as far as you feel comfortable my hair is a bit funny exhale tuck the toes under push back into your downward facing dog see if you want to bend the knees or okay with your straight leg maybe take that down dog to a walk pushing one heel down then the opposite just be present in your body the root chakra is all about strength in the physical body immunity our bones our muscles everything to do with the physical body our material world we will connect with them through the poses but with the sun salutation just really connect with the physical body and the breath flowing in the postures just one more deep breath in here then look between the hands walk between the hands little steps so one big step inhale come up halfway look up exhale release into your forward fold inhale rise up palms together reach and extend and come back into your mountain position roll the shoulders back lengthen let's find stability in mountain pose before we go to the second round mountain pose is one of the nicest postures to really connect with this the base of the spine rooting down top of the head reaching up and finding this strength this stability this firmness let's continue with one more round of sun salutation inhale reach up with the arms extend up exhale fold forward navel to the spine folding in the hips breath and movement in synchronicity inhale come up halfway lengthen exhale step back with the left leg right leg come into your plank roll the shoulders away from the ears active core you can bring the knees down or for the second round you can come from plank and lower yourself to the floor stretch the toes away hug the pelvis to the mat inhale come forward and up whatever your body allows mindful that the lower back is protected by the active core and only coming as high that your lower back is nice and fully relaxed and then tuck the toes under push back into your downward facing dog find the stability here let the top of the head release towards the floor sit bone towards the sky and just breathe inhale exhale 
Feel the flow of the breath. Try to work the heels towards the floor. See the bones towards the sky. Connect to the base of the spine. Feel the energy moving at the base of the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look between the hands. And now this time, just step forward with the right leg. Pivot the left leg and cartwheel the arms up so you arrive into your warrior two. You can gaze towards the front middle finger or straight ahead. Roll the shoulders back, front knee bend, 90 degrees, active quads, checking that the knee is going in the same direction as the toes. Activate the left glutes, relax into the pose. The right side of the body um, signifies the muscular side. So with the roots energy center, we really connect to our roots. And the right side is the father figure. So when you are in this warrior two, really think about the person who is a positive father figure in your life and send them some thankfulness, some love, some energy. And even if you don't have a positive father figure in your life, just connect with this notion that a father is supporting, it's um, there to sort of like nourish you, it's there to keep you up, give you like support and just allow yourself to soften in here. Thinking all the fathers that are supporting families, nations, just really connecting to father figures. Or you can connect to the divine father as well. Just allowing this support from the father figure or your guru, your teacher. One more breath and then inhale, exhale, stretch the right leg out. Coming into our triangle pose, reach out to the right, nice and deep. Keep the length in the sides of the body. And on the exhalation, the right hand come on the thigh, sheen all the way down to the floor and the left hand reaches up. Roll the shoulders back, stack the hips on top of each other. So try not to push the sit bones back or out. Roll the shoulders back and breathe. And just soften here. And now connect to your livelihood, your job, your career. So whatever pays your bills. And connect to that and send a little bit of thankfulness and positive energy and connection to that. So what sustains you? What gives you food? What gives you shelter? Just allow yourself to be thankful for it. Hopefully, if you're practicing from a video, you have internet, you have a machine, you have some roof over your head. So connect with that, that stability, that thankfulness for that that keep you sustained. Roof over your head at the minute. One more breath, slowly on the next exhalation, reach and extend up with the help of a back hand and the core, and then bend the left leg again, coming into our side bend angle pose, reaching out to the right, resting the right elbow on the thigh, and reaching the left hand either up again towards the ceiling, or if you're okay with the hand in line with the ears, roll the shoulders back, stack them on top of each other, Relax into the pose, relax the right ear to the right shoulder and breathe. And now connect with your skeletal system, all your bones. So the first energy center is our physical body. So give thanks to all your skeletal system, your spine, your bones. Give them this thankfulness that they keep you stable, upright, mobile. Inhale. 
exhale reach and extend breathe into it feel the muscles working as well feel as you're putting weight on the bones so you're bringing strength stability in here because you're using your body standing postures connecting you your breath is uh, you're probably feeling that you need to connect to your breath you're using your body strong postures inhale slowly come back and lengthen and then bring the hands back bring the legs parallel and we're going to the other side so this time the left leg will be 90 degrees and the back leg is either uh, just a little bit the toes in here's out or parallel whatever feels nice for your knees front knee is bent find the position which feels comfortable knee doesn't go further than the ankle knee goes same direction as the second toe whenever you're ready external rotation in the hips bring the arms up roll the shoulders back you can have the traditional gaze towards the front middle finger or straight ahead relax the shoulders <clears throat> connect to your warrior on the left side and the left side is the feminine side traditionally so we're going to connect to the mother figure in our life mother nature the earth whatever mothering means to you and just connect to the supporting nourishing helping part of it so send some love towards it breathe into it allow yourself to relax into it just breathing deeply connecting this mothering energy you're being nourished you're being sustained you're being fed really relaxing you can close your eyes if you feel comfortable although in the standing postures just make sure you keep your balance relaxing into it sending some thankfulness and love towards our mothers our mother figures mother nature let's move into our triangle pose lengthen stretch the left leg out reach out to the left creating the space in the side body and exhaling the left hand thigh calf all the way to the floor and reach the right arm up roll the shoulders back lengthen feel the working of the physical body but the breath is still flowing freely and now connect to your home so the beautiful place where you're living your house your street so connect to your home and send some thankful thoughts towards your house, your apartment, the room you live in. Especially, I don't know where you are, but when you're practicing from this video, but today we have quite <laughs> horrendous weather outside. And I'm always so thankful to have a roof over the head, some warmth. Even though it's May, we may put the fire on and just feel that warm cozy feeling of having a home having a roof over our head and that's how connecting to the base and its center food home shelter and feeling the divine father or the father figure in our life and mother nature or mother figure in our life let's move into our side angle pose inhale slowly with the half of the core reach and extend back bend the front knees roll the shoulders back lengthen then release the left elbow to the left thigh reach the right arm up you can stay here or you can extend the right hand in line with the ear breathe deeply and now connect all the muscles in the body feel them working feel them being strengthened so important to balance the first energy center we need to move the body we have to create pressure so it's used it's strengthened 
It's moved every single day. Breathing deeply. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel the legs working. Feel the core being active, lengthening in the spine. Arms, but relax the left ear to the left shoulder. So you're nice and relaxed there. One more breath in here. And inhale, slowly with the half of the back hand and the core. Come back, relax the hands, and then walk the legs together. Let's come into one more heat building pose. Coming into our chair pose. Bring the legs close together, internally rotate them. Bring the hands to the heart, roll the shoulders back. And we're just going to sit back on our chair. So just tucking the tailbone under, activating the core, lengthening, and we root down, and we come down as far as you feel comfortable. Really tuck the tailbone under, activate the core, so you feel that the lower back is protected. Shoulders are relaxed. If you're okay with the arms, and you're okay, your blood pressure is okay, uh, you can extend the arms, rolling the shoulders away from the ears. Breathing here really connect with this strength how you're in the chair pose chair pose sounds from, uh, quite cozy but it's actually quite a strong pose so feel that you're so strong you're so active in all the muscles there's fire in the belly you're tucking the tailbone under you root down with the feet that even though you don't have a chair behind you have all the support from yourself so just two more deep breaths Roll the shoulders back, breathe. Maybe go a little bit deeper. Feel that fire, feel the base of the spine. Energy moving through the feet, the legs. And then one more. And then slowly rise up and lengthen. And come back. Chair pose immediately gives you this little glow. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it does give me especially if I talk through it. So come back to the center. We're finishing with a balance pose, the three pose. And the three pose for me signifies the most this, like even in standing on one leg, we can get really strong and rooted. So transfer the weight to the left leg, root down with the feet, and then bring the right leg up, open the right leg. You have the option of the Toes staying down and just here, just going to the left ankle. You can bring it a little higher. Okay, you, you can use the help of the hand and bring the sole of the foot all the way high up on the left inner thigh. Just make sure you're comfortable. <laughs> you can lean against the wall as well. You can stand close to all the wall as well. Bring the hands to the heart and just relax in here. Again, if you feel comfortable and you're okay with the blood pressure, you can even extend the arms, palms together, or palms separated. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen. Feel the stability through that standing one leg. Feel the tailbone tucked under the active core. Keep your gaze on a non-moving point around eye level. Activate the glutes, feel the strength here. How you standing strong. Notice the energy moving up through the feet, all the way through that left leg, all the way through the base of the spine. Finding stability, foundation, grounding, all the things that the first energy center needs to be balanced. One more breath. And then bring the hands to the heart and release the right leg. Shake it all about. And let's go to the other side. Transfer the weight to the right leg. Left leg opens up. Externally rotate that left leg. You can come whichever version you feel comfortable. If your uh, trousers are really slippery, <laughs> it may not work to bring the leg up. My trousers today are supporting <laughs> this. 
posture. So bring the hands to the heart, roll the shoulders back, lengthen the top of the head up, tailbone down. And if you wish to, you can have the hands in front of the heart. You can bring the hands up, palms together, or you can open up like a tree. And again, feel the strong foundation through that right leg rooting down. So imbalances in the first energy center could mean that we don't feel stable. We feel that the rock has been pulled out from underneath us. So this can happen if big changes are happening in our lives or we had some tragedy like we lost our job, we lost a partner, we lost someone we love. So things when our fundamentals are shaked. So this is, this, that is why it's so important to notice when these things happen that we notice that there is an imbalance in the first energy center and then we spend a lot of time like spend out in nature, connect to ground, connect to mother earth, connect to this nourishing, eating really really healthy food, very important what we put in our body when we don't feel imbalanced, don't feel imbalanced, we don't feel supported and bring the hands together and then come back and if it's overworked, then we may find that we want to hoard things, we keep holding on to things, we are too attached to the material world, so that is when it's too much. Then as well, we need to move, we have to shake it up, okay? So coming down to the floor, let's just come into a nice little twist, and then we're going into a little bit of a meditation. Let's have a seated twist for and this one. So come into a cross-legged seated position. You can have the right leg in front. If you're familiar or you're okay with half lotus, you can bring the right foot on top of the left thigh. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen. Bring the right hand behind you, left hand either in front of you or the left knee. Reach and extend up. And on the exhalation, starting from the belly, chest, shoulder and the head going last, Make your way into a gentle twist to the right. Roll the shoulders back, relax. And think about squeezing out anything that is standing in the way of you feeling grounded, supported, nourished. So with the standing postures and some salutation, we stir up the energy. We activate this movement and just think about squeezing everything out that is imbalancing this energy center. Anything that may be stuck there, accumulating there, or if it's feeling depleted, then opening up the gate, letting the oxygen, prana, energy, blood flow come back. Lengthen the top of the head up. Feel the sit bone rooting down. Breathe. One more breath. And then slowly come back to the center. Swap the left position. So either just cross-legged position at the ankle shin or if you're familiar in the evening it's easier if, you, if lotus, half lotus is available for you. Left foot left on top of the right thigh. And then this time the left hand will come behind us. Right hand is either in the front of the left knee. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen first. Always lengthening before a twist. And then on the exhalation, belly, chest, shoulder, head going last. Roll the shoulders back, open up the heart. Squeeze out everything that doesn't serve you anymore. Feel the sit bone reaching down, top of the head reaches up. And notice at the base of the spine, releasing anything that doesn't serve you there. Keeping our awareness, our intention, just our thought, at the base of the spine, where the first energy center physically resides. And 
And this energy center in the body systems, in the endocrine system, is connected to the adrenal glands, which we know is connected to stress. So as soon as some stress con um, comes into our life, the root energy center, the first energy center, gets imbalanced. One more breath. And slowly come back. So if that happens, know that connect to the base of the spine, physical movements, putting your awareness back into the body, connecting to the, the bones, the muscles, the ground, anything which is like grounding you and brings you back to that stability. So come into a little bit of a meditation. If you want, you can have a blanket or block underneath if you like that, but you don't have to. I quite like to give a little bit of a lift the pelvis and just relax the shoulders rest the hand on the knees like cupping the knees again it's a sense of grounding down allowing ourselves to connect to the physical body top of the head reaches up and just softly close your eyes allow your breath to be nice and relaxed so your natural breath and direct the breath to the base of the spine. And just keep that intention of breathing there. Each energy center has a corresponding color. And the color of the root energy center is the beautiful red color from the rainbow. So if you can visualize Paint the base of the spine and the legs this soft red. Or just breathe into the base of the spine if visualizing is a little bit more challenging for you. Connecting to the color red. Feel the strength, the stability, the nourishment feeling you up through the base of the spine. You're supported. You're grounded. You're safe. Your space is being held. And just allow these affirmations to settle, allowing the base of the spine to fill up with energy, paint it to this soft red color, and breathe. have time and you don't want to finish the practice yet then allow yourself to come into relaxation laying down on your back shavasana if you're familiar with it otherwise just bring the hand to the heart palms together thumbs connecting to the heart center bow your head to the heart give a big thank you to yourself to coming to the mat today and practice again. Taking steps in balancing your first energy center out. Starting to build the foundations. Rub the palms together, create the heat between the palms. And then cover the eyes. Softly let the eyes relax in there. 
in the palms and open the eyes and then separate the fingers give yourself a lovely little massage again anything that you're pampering the physical body so self-massage or going to somebody for a massage if you can is a very good way to feel nourished and then thank you for practicing with me today I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so going to Shavasana, we'll just get ready for the evening. If you're ready to go to bed, affirmations for the first energy center. The first energy center is connected to the I am feeling. So whenever you feel that you need more assertiveness of your physical presence, then you can say anything that starts with I am. So you can say, I am strong, I am grounded, I am stable, I am prosperous, <laughs> I am wealthy, I have a good life, I have a nice home. So I am. Okay, so anything to do with that. 